Alright guys, so moving on, we're going to be talking about finding the real roots. So the problem is asking us, um, find the fourth root of 81. So fourth root of 81, what is that going to be? Well, before we start talking about this, let's just first go back to square root. So for example, if I had the square root of 81, so square root of 81, okay? Well, realize that there is essentially really a 2 here. Okay, meaning square root. Now we don't write that. Okay, when we see just the square root, we already assume there is a two here, but there is in fact a two. Okay, and essentially what that is saying is, right, it's saying a number times itself will give you 81. So a number times itself, okay, will give you 81. So for example, we know that this is going to be either nine times nine, because that will be 81, or we could have negative nine, times negative 9, which will also be 81, right? So this is why we always write plus or minus, right, when we're dealing with square root. So plus or minus 9, right? So now we're talking about fourth root, right? So for example, let's erase this. We're talking about fourth root. So instead of putting a 2 there, we're now going to put a 4. So fourth root of 81. Now what number times itself four times, right, because we have a four there, will give you 81. Well, that's going to be three, right? If I do three times three times three times three, that will be 81. Now, careful here, I can also do negative three because negative three times negative three times negative three times negative three will also be positive 81, right? So I have two answers here. The fourth root of 81 is going to be plus or minus 3, okay? And this would be your answer for that particular problem, right? So the fourth root of 81 is plus or minus 3. Okay, let's try another example here. So we're going to do cube root. negative 125. Now when we're talking about cube root, we're talking about 3, right? So go ahead and write this out so it's a little more visual. So we have 3 and we have negative 125. Now what number times itself 3 times will give you negative 125? Okay, so that's going to be negative 5, right? Because negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5, well, that will be negative 125. Now, look what happens if you try to make it positive. I have to do 5 times 5 times 5. That will just be 125, right? Not negative 125. So plus or minus isn't going to work in this case. So no here. So we're going to get a single answer here of negative 5. So the cube root of negative 125 is going to be just negative 5. So we're going to have negative five here, okay? And that is going to be our answer, all right? Let's try another one. Mixing it up, six root. Of negative seven, 29. Now, careful with this one, we're talking about the six root. So again, if you want to write it out, you can. Um, now think about this. Six is an even number, right? So an even number, if I take any number and I multiply it by itself evenly, okay? So for example, if I had, um, let's pick a random number here, let's pick negative three, right? If I do negative three times 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 negative three, right? <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six. When I do that out, it will always be positive, right? Because it's even. So, this is impossible, right? We can't find an answer here. So in this particular problem, there's going to be no real six root here, right? It's mathematically impossible because again, this is even. And it's impossible to get a negative here if we're dealing with an even root, right? So in this case, 
you're going to have no real sixth root. So you can say here, no real oops, six root. All right, so no real six root. All right, let's try another one. So fourth root of negative 256. So again, be careful with this. Look at our root. Our root is going to be even, right? And we're dealing with a negative here. Well, we already determined if your root is negative, right? <clears throat> I'm sorry, if your, if your answer is negative here, and your root is even, okay, it's impossible to get a negative, right? So again, if we, our root is even, it's impossible to get a negative, right? So again, you would say here, no real fourth root. No real fourth root. Again, it's mathematically impossible, okay? Because again, your root is even. In that case, it's impossible to return a negative, okay? So no real fourth root. Let's try one more example here. So let's do, let's switch it up, we'll do a cubed. Root of 125. All right, so going opposite, again, we're dealing with three. So let's write that in. So what number times itself? Three times will give you 125. Well, that's going to be 5 times 5 times 5, which equals 125. Well, what happens if you try negative 5? Well, if I do negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5, okay, that's going to give me negative 125. All right, so negative 5 is not going to work here. So we're going to get a single answer here of 5. All right, so the cube root of 125 is 5. All right, and that is how you go about finding real roots.